Times Limited Partnering for Life Hello everyone I am Dr Jasleen a dermatologist from Amritsar and today I will discuss melasma Melasma is a skin condition in which you get various shades of brown patches mainly on your face or the areas which are exposed to sun you can get brownish patches on your cheeks on your forehead on your nose along your jawline also on the upper lip melasma is more common in females but nowadays we see few cases around 10% of the cases are there in the males also now all over the world around 20 to 40% females are affected with this condition now what is the cause of melasma now melasma in your skin in the epidermis we have melanocytes which are pigment producing factories so they produce melanin pigment which is distributed in the topmost layer of the skin due to which the color of skin is there now in melasma these pigment producing factories start producing more melanin and it gets distributed in form of patches on various parts of the face basically on the photo exposed area or sun exposed area now what could be the cause of excessive uh, pigment production it could be hormonal sometimes it can occur during pregnancy or after childbirth or it can also occur due to certain hormonal imbalance like when you are taking certain birth control pills or when you have thyroid certain nutritional deficiencies can also trigger melasma it has been seen that vitamin d3 deficiency has also been uh, seen with melasma then certain genetic factors like if your mother if your grandmother has melasma there are chances that you will also get melasma then uh, sun exposure is the most common triggering factor so it has been seen that people who are more exposed to sun get more melasma now once you have melasma we have to differentiate it from other causes of pigmentation now the melasma can look like you know when the melasma is a patchy pigmentation but you can have a diffuse kind of pigmentation in other diseases like lpp or you can have photo contact dermatitis due to certain cosmetics or other uh, genetic condition like hori's nevus can also Uh, mimic melasma so first of all once you notice brownish patches on your face you should visit a dermatologist a dermatologist can clinically diagnose melasma or we can do wood lamp examination to diagnose melasma melasma could be superficial deep superficial is called epidermal melasma deep melasma is dermal melasma but most of the time it has been seen that it is mixed melasma that is both epidermal and dermal treatment would differ in both the cases because epidermal melasma usually usually responds to medicine whereas dermal melasma takes a long time to get treated and melasma is a chronic recurring condition it is something which can be controlled like your diabetes like your hypertension it cannot be cured once you have melasma it can always recur so the treatment would go on for minimum 3 to 6 months sometimes people get lured by advertisement that you know one cream will cure melasma many patient come to us that say that give write some cream for melasma so there is no one magic cream that will cure melasma for melasma you have to use so many products so many oral medicines you have to visit your doctor depending upon your condition of the skin your doctor would advise your medicines first and foremost in the treatment of melasma is photo protection you have to use a sunscreen at least twice a day morning and afternoon and your sunscreen should be broad spectrum it should contain a uva and uvb protection along with protection to visible light and infrared radiation then certain deep pigmenting creams which contain glycolic acid lactic acid kojic acid and certain botanicals 
can be used to control the pigmentation. Then if a person does not respond to this, we put the patient onto oral medicines along with these. These oral medicines could be antioxidants or it could be high concentration of vitamin C or in resistant melasma, sometimes tranexamic acid works wonders. So it is one of the most common drug used nowadays to control the resistant melasma. Then apart from the oral medicines, if a person is not responding, we put the patient onto chemical peels. Now chemical peels could be superficial, deeper peels, but along with chemical peels, we have to be very particular about your sun protection. Along with chemical peels, we can also use laser toning. That's a treatment in which active Q-switch laser is used. You have to have one session every 15 to 20 days and you can get six to eight sessions that helps in controlling the melasma. Then we can also do PRP therapy. We can also do fractional CO2 laser. But out of these, it has been seen that chemical peels and your Q-switch laser responds, like your skin responds very well to these two treatments. Now we have to understand that melasma is something, as I already told, which can be controlled, it cannot be cured. So once your patches have lightened to great extent, you have to continue with milder creams along with sunscreen for quite a long time. And these treatments like lasers and chemical peels also you can continue every two to three months depending upon your need. You should never use OTC creams available because they might contain steroids. So steroids initially work magic, you know, your pig pigmentation patches will disappear. But soon once you leave them, they'll reappear and there could be post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation also. Your skin can be like uh, thinned out and we can see blood vessels on your face this is called topical steroid dependent phase so you should never use otc cream which can further aggravate or which can complicate your melasma thank you